Hello ladies and gentlemen, it is Anthony, and today I'm going to teach you how to enable a 5 GHz network. Well, basically a 5 GHz wireless network. Now, back in the old days of when Wi-Fi first came out, there was two different versions of wireless internet, which was 802.11a and 802.11b. A was 5 GHz, which was mostly businesses and whatnot used those because it was steadily available, or it was more steady as a whole, and it was like it was faster connection, and whatnot. Uh, whereas 802.11b was more of like a me and you type of go to the store, pick up a wireless type of Ethernet, or not Ethernet card, a wireless card, plug it into your computer, and you got wireless internet. It was it was more steadily available, so it was basically plug and play, but not plug and play. <laughs> so to enter your credentials when you type in routerlogin.com in your either Google Chrome, Firefox, whatever website you're using or browser you're using. So if you go here, it'll ask for authentication. On Netgear routers, it usually is admin and password. Now the reason for this is because they don't want uh, people changing that kind of crap, but you can, I believe. So click login. Wait a couple of seconds, let it load, and this is the router that you're using. It may look a little different, but it, basically the same aspect. There's, there's your firmware number and whatnot. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to wireless. See right here is my 2.4 GHz network. It's uh, Netgear 35, it's on channel 11, which is mostly the most concurring and uh, the mode's up to 300 megabytes per second. Now, for wireless network 5 gigahertz, which is A and AC, uh, so 802.11 AC and A, those are the two 5 gigahertz ones, and N, I guess. Uh, I named it Moon Man, just because it's on channel 153, and it's up to one, uh, 300 megabytes per second. Now, the security options, I changed it to my own personal preference. You won't be able to see my two passwords. But that's all you gotta really do is just enter your credentials, enable SSID broadcast, so you're gonna check that, and you're gonna go to channel 153. That's all you have to do. Now, you can keep both of them up, but you're gonna have to make sure that your wireless card supports a 5 GHz network to figure that out. Look up your wireless card, see if it supports 802.11a or 802.11ac or 802.11n. And that's pretty much it. So I hope you enjoyed this video, ladies and gentlemen. Leave a like, subscribe, comment if you want. Uh, have a great day, everybody. Peace out.